Hello guys, what you're about to see now is one free lesson that I launched on YouTube from my upcoming course about structuring database in Laravel. And here I want to discuss JSON fields, whether they are useful in what cases and with a few examples. If you have an opinion about JSON or if you have exact examples where you use them and you regret it or not regret it, shoot in the comments below and let's discuss everything about JSON fields in Laravel. Now, let's go to the video. Now let's discuss JSON column type in the database. Because it is fully supported in Laravel and you can create a migration file with table JSON and why or why not you should use that. Typically JSON field is used for flexible structure. So if in some field you don't know what would be inside of that field or inside of that structure, kind of like NoSQL database, then you may use JSON. So if the probability of that structure being changed or adding new structure is quite big, then JSON is okay. In other words, you need field for some properties, for example, but you don't exactly know what properties will be there in the future. And to avoid creating new database table or changing the structure in the future, you just save it all in properties and whatever is inside is inside. And I will show you two examples of that. First example is Spotty Media Library package, well-known package, and part of that package to upload the images is conversions. Conversion is any variant of the image, thumbnail, cropped thumbnail, whatever. So you just define conversions with width, height, and others, and it saves a separate file performing all the conversions. But in the database, in the media database table for that package, here we have contents of that media and file if it's used with conversions it has a field called custom properties and if we take a look what's inside it's a json field with generated conversions and it saves all the names of all the conversions which is flexible which is defined by developer so in my case of the project i define them in the user model so register conversions for thumb 50 by 50 and preview for 120, 120. And then the package saves that both thumbnails, both conversions are generated. And if I define a third conversion here somewhere with another name, when I save that image, then it will have a third variable here inside of the conversions. So this is the flexible structure. Now it has its own disadvantages. First, it's not relational database, so there are no relationships and it's hard to ensure 100% that the data is correct. You don't easily see what's inside. And speaking of not easily see, even if you look at the data of iSQL Pro or whatever is your client, this is not seen easily. So it's hard to read if you want to see some data quickly. Next, there could be performance issues. And JSON is supported by MySQL 5.7 and above, so you can perform operations like where JSON and search inside of that JSON. But, of course, it is slower. So, as an experiment, I did another project with list of products, and those properties are JSON. And I decided to measure the queries with JSON or without JSON with foreign key. So if we open up the database table, here's the structure for 10,000 products. Properties is a JSON field. So in the migrations, it is defined as JSON properties. Then in the model, it is casted as array, which is fine. And then in the seeder of that product factory, I see that as array with random values. Now on some page, if I want to get the products with the properties, for example, index blade, I get all the products and do something like this for each of the properties as key value and then show them exactly like you have seen on the page here. And this is all fine if you get the product and then parse the properties showing them one by one or showing specific property. But what if you want to search by property? For example, you want to look for products with origin China. If you do that with JSON column, let's take a look at the controller. You do something like this product where properties origin China and it is allowed by Laravel in Laravel documentation you can find JSON where clauses so there are where where JSON contains where JSON something syntax allows that now another experiment I've done is created a specific origin ID field foreign key to a separate table origin which is relational database and let's see the difference in speed of course it's a hypothetical example and in real project probably the queries would be more complex 
but just as an experiment. We open that page and at the bottom I have Laravel debug bar with queries. If we open up the queries, these are the queries with relational database, so it's not even milliseconds. And these two queries are for JSON. And the first query of getting the amount of products for pagination takes 10 milliseconds. Let's refresh again and let's see what happens. 29 milliseconds, probably without caching. So with cache, it should be 10 milliseconds and one milliseconds for actually getting the products. And with origin ID one, those two queries are not even one millisecond. If we refresh again, refresh again, try again. So 30 milliseconds, it's not that big, but it calculates to the total load of the page very quickly if you perform a lot of operations with JSON. And maybe you would think that these first queries kind of help those queries to run faster. Let's try it out. Let's flip the queries. So origin ID one will be the first and only then JSON queries. Let's see the result then. Okay, it's partly true because this is slower. So three milliseconds, but still this is 10 milliseconds. If we refresh again, so three milliseconds versus 14, three versus 10, four versus nine. So it's still much faster. So my advice would be to use JSON for those fields where you totally feel that the structure will change, but you don't know how. So that's first condition. Second condition that you will not perform operations on where, so you will not search by that field. And third condition, probably that you shouldn't store too much data there just because of readability. If you rely too much on the JSON format, maybe at some point you will bump into issues of how to read that data, how to ensure that it's correct and stuff like that. So JSON is mostly for smaller fields, more like an exception to the relational database than something you should use more often. If you are generally unsure about the structure of your all database, maybe a better solution would be to use NoSQL database because mixing relational database and JSON as kind of NoSQL structure may be risky.